Talk to Chen. Dr. Chen, this experiment is too dangerous. I'll do it. No, I have a double doctorate in physics and chemistry. I won't make a mistake. I'll do it. You can get out of here now. I'll teach this bastard a lesson. Master, don't! You must, you must, you wait! You must, I thought you'd be beaten to death by the master. Where am I? How's the lab? What's going on? You must, have you been beaten silly? Don't be afraid! Ow! Are you awake? Master! Why did you defy the princess? Master. You are so reckless, hey old man. Who are you? Why did you hit me? Call me old man? I'm your father. I'll kill you. You're an old man making a movie, right? If you hit me again, I'll hit you back. What do you mean? I'm your father. How dare you hit me? Come on, come on. Master, master, master. master. You made me do it. Master, master! This isn't right. Director? No cut? The camera doesn't work either. This is a real touch! Time travel? Yo, yeah, master! Why did you hit the master? You're so cruel! How dare you hit your father? I'm sorry. I've just crossed over. I don't know you. What are you talking about? What do you mean, crossed over? Listen to me. You get some ice, or your wound will be swollen soon. You are so stupid! Ah, where can you find ice in summer? Haha, <laughs> ice block. Ah, I forgot this is in ancient time. The refrigerator. It's okay, I can make it. Who told you to stand up? Kneel down! Hey, you go to the mortar to get some wall plaster down. Uh? You dandy! Why are you going to scrape the plaster off the wall? Leave him alone. I'll get you some ice. You're a tough guy. Go ahead. Get dressed quickly. Go to the palace and meet the emperor. Palace? How dare you say that? The Princess Haitian you offended, she's the Emperor's favorite daughter. Your fiance. Hurry up. Let's go and apologize together. It's too much trouble. Can we not go? Do you want to get whipped again? No, 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 no. Master! Young Master is awesome! We've got eyes! Master, let me ice your wound! <laughs> I told you, I'm a reliable person. You usually read miscellaneous books. Hey, quite useful. No need to go there now? Stop daydreaming, put on the clothes and go immediately. Eunuch? My lord, please stay. Emperor is with leisure, discussing. Then I'd appreciate it if you'd go and tell them we'll wait at the door. Okay. What are you doing? Do you want to die? This is the palace. You don't want to live? Shh. You're all useless. You can't even beat the barbarians. And you're being chased by them. You tell me. What's the use of you? Your Majesty, for this defeat, we are not to blame. It was the horses. Nonsense! They're all my good horses. Your Majesty, this was a hilly battle. The horses' hooves from running for so long were worn out. The enemy caught up with us quickly. That's why we lost the battle. Wastes, wastes, wastes! Oh, uh, ah, who are you? Someone come and protect me! 
Kill the assassin on the spot. Slowly. My son has disturbed the Emperor. Please forgive me, Your Majesty. Lord Chen, that's your son. That's my son. Kneel down. How dare you, Chen Ping, disturbing the deliberation and disturbing the Emperor. You should be beheaded. I'm sorry for my sins. Please forgive me, Your Majesty. Forgive? Lord Chen, you think this is your backyard? You want Emperor to forgive you? Forget it. I'll give you 80 lashes. Ah, this... Why don't you thank to the Emperor's mercy? Your Majesty, my son is weak. He can't stand the beating. I just beat him up. And he fainted. If he gets another 80 lashes, I'm afraid his life will be in danger. Your Majesty, I'll spare him the death penalty. How dare you bargain. Ah, forget it. Take him out and beat him together. Wait, 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 wait. Your Majesty, I have something to say. What do you want to say? Your Majesty, I heard you worry about the horses. I have a solution. How dare you talk about the affairs of state? Get them out of here! Wait! Tell me. You have a solution? Yes, I do. These horses' hooves would be worn out by running for a long time. Soon, they will be incapable of fighting. I have a good idea. You're not asking me to buy more horses, are you? Of course not. A piece of iron will do. Nonsense! <laughs> A piece of iron will solve the problem of the horses, your majesty. Don't listen to this lad's nonsense. Everyone knows he's a dandy. I suggest kicking him out of the palace. Yes, your majesty. He has no talent and virtue. Don't trust him. My lord, no matter how untalented my son is, he is also the fiancé of Princess Heshun. Saying such a thing, does it imply that his majesty is senseless? Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. All right, all right, all right. Is it a mule or a horse? Let's take it out for a spin to see if it's capable. Chen Ping, I'm asking you. Are you sure about it? Definitely. If I don't succeed, Your Majesty may cut off the heads of both my father and I. Why did you drag me here? Okay. Come on. General, listen to me. Do as he says. Hey, hey. Go, 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 go. Bastard! If you want to die, don't drag me into it. A matter of life and death. Only a brother and a son can do it. Old man, aren't we father and son? Don't worry about it. Are you sure about this? Let's say half and half. You bastard! Your Majesty, Your Majesty, bad news. Alas, what's wrong? So panicked. Can't you be like me? Be calm. Your Majesty, Her Highness is critically ill. What did you say? Doctor, what's going on? Princess, what's wrong with her? Your Majesty, the Princess's pulse is stable, but I don't know what's wrong with her. She's unconscious. Her expression is painful. It's really strange. Do you think the princess is angry with me? What are you talking about? Doctor, is there anything you can do? I can't find the disease and prescribe the medicine. Alas. You. I'll ask you what the princess did this morning. Your Majesty, the princess had a quarrel with his chin today and ate something. Did that do anything then? Oh, I see. The princess was angered by Chen Ping. She's in a coma. Her anger is trapped in her chest. It's possible to fall into a coma. Oh, I see. The princess is weak. Chen Ping deliberately made the princess angry. He's vicious. How dare you, Chen Ping? How dare you? You've put the princess in a coma. Let's see what I'll do to you. Take down Chen Ping. Drag him out and beat him to death. Your Majesty, forgive my son. My son didn't mean it. Unintentional. I'd say he's intentional. 
to the princess. If anything happens, it's not only his fault. Even you, the minister. You've brought me in again. What are you waiting for? Get him out of here. Your Majesty, wait. What else do you want to say? Your Majesty, the princess is sick. Not because of anger. It's food poisoning. Food poisoning. Look at this table. Pickles on the table. The princess must have eaten the pickles that were not pickled thoroughly. That's why she got nitrite poisoning. This. That's nonsense. So weird. I don't know what you're talking about. Pull him down. Your Majesty, the princess is in danger. I'm the only one who can save her. Who dares to touch me? Wait. Chen Ping, you say the princess is poisoned? Doctor. What do you think? Your Majesty, I've been a doctor for more than 30 years. I've never heard of food poisoning. What the Majesty's son-in-law said, it's never heard of. What do you know, you quack? If you're really good, you'd better cure the princess. You treat her, Your Majesty. What he said is nonsense. I swear my life on that. The princess's illness is due to anger. The doctor has said so. How dare you argue? Drag him out of here immediately. You. Ha! Huh, my daughter! My dear, how are you? Daughter! Your Majesty, the princess's life is at stake. Please let me try. Are you sure? Your Majesty, this lad is just a dandy. How can he know how to heal people? Yes, Your Majesty, this Chen Ping has been a renowned playboy since he was a child. Not to mention his medical skills. He can't even read a few words. Let him treat a princess? What a joke! Yes, your majesty. Letting a layman treat the princess. Isn't it a joke that I have no good doctor in the palace? My lord! Just now, you've been talking all the time. You've been trying to stop my son. Do you have any better way to cure the princess? If not, please keep your mouth shut. Your majesty, I'm sure I can cure the princess. Please let me try. Chen Ping, come forward. Yes, your majesty. Come, come. Get me some pancreatic water. Go. Get it to the princess for a drink. What is this? Soap water, also called pancreatic water. Stop it! How dare you, Chen Ping? How dare you give this to the princess? Do you know that soap water is made from pigs, pancreas, and weeds? Of course I know. I don't need you to tell me. It stinks and smells. It can only wash coarse linen. How dare you give this to the princess? What do you know? This pancreatic water is rich in proteins. It can induce vomiting. As long as the princess drinks it, the princess will be able to vomit the poisoned food. Your Majesty, I've been a doctor for over 30 years, using pancreatic water to cure someone. This is the first time I've heard. That's right, Your Majesty. The Imperial Doctor doesn't even know how to use it. How dare you give it to the princess? The pancreas is filthy. Drinking this will lead to serious trouble, your majesty. You must stop him. Chen Ping, I'm asking you. Are you sure? Your majesty, if my judgment is correct, I'm sure there's nothing wrong with the method. As long as the princess drinks the pancreatic water, she'll be able to vomit out of the poison food. Your majesty, if this pancreatic water can cure the princess, I'm willing to quit. I will never be a doctor again. I'm also willing to bow and apologize to Cheng Ping. Me too. I... have a good son. Stop arguing. It's making my head spin. Come, Chen Ping. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, this. Why isn't she awake yet? Your Majesty. Chen Ping, he's trying to trick the princess. Chen Ping is trying to poison the princess to cover up the fact that he killed the princess. Your Majesty, the princess looks even worse. Ah! Daughter! Someone, take down Chen Ping! Your Majesty, Your Majesty! Your Majesty, wait, I have another idea. There's still a way out. The princess hasn't gotten up. She threw up after drinking it. What more tricks is he playing now? Chen Ping, 
Stalling won't save you. You'd better confess. Your Majesty, it seems that the princess is not simply suffering from food poisoning. It's allergic poisoning. What is it? It's a strange thing to say. Do you think we're all fools? You're trying to harm the princess. Mr. Zhou! My son Cheng Ping is the Majesty's son-in-law. The princess is his fiance. What's wrong with him that he kills his own wife? That's right, isn't it? I don't know if it's you or me who's sick. I don't know what he's thinking. He had a quarrel with the princess this morning. We all know that. That's a joke. I've never heard of a quarrel could kill a person. If you keep talking nonsense, don't blame me for being rude. You're so powerful, Lord Chen. Are you going to, in front of his majesty, kill us all? You try! Your majesty, I have another idea. I have a pill here. If the princess take it, she'll be fine. Pill? What medicine? Let go of me. Your Majesty, it's called Loratidin. It's for allergies. Whose ass is it? What a strange name. What do you think, Doctor? Your Majesty, I've never seen this before. Your Majesty, please don't. The pancreatic water was ridiculous enough. Now, now this is some kind of strange medicine. The princess body can't stand it. Your Majesty. <laughs> Hurry! The princess seems to be getting worse. Your Majesty, there's no time. Let me try. If it doesn't work, I will die with the princess. Hurry, hurry. Come on, come on, come on. No, Your Majesty. The princess's mouth is closed. The pills won't go down. What can we do? Give it to me. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? He said he's going to give the princess some medicine. I think you're slamming the princess. You're dishonoring the princess. You deserve to die. He said if the medicine is about to melt. If she doesn't take it, the princess will be in danger. He's the princess' fiancé. He's entitled to it. What's he saying that so long? I don't understand it either. Chen Ping, don't, don't. Hey, hey, everyone, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around. That's great. My daughter. What's wrong? What's wrong? Why hasn't she woken up yet? The medicine doesn't work that fast. Your Majesty, we have to wait a little longer. If the princess doesn't wake up this time, I'm going to kill you. I'm ready. I found a good place to watch the beheading. Chen Ping, I gave you a chance, but you don't. Your Majesty, the princess is awake. The princess is awake, your majesty. My daughter, you're finally awake. Father, why are you here? Ah, Yunar, you're finally awake. What's wrong with me? You've got food poisoning. It almost killed you. Food poisoning? What food poisoning? You ate something from undercooked pickles. That's what caused the poisoning. So, you can get poisoned from eating pickles? That's true, isn't it? I just found out about it. Someone come here. Take the chef in charge of pickles in the Imperial Catering House to the prison and wait for their punishment. Yes. Daughter, you get some rest. Yes, father. Thank you, doctor. I didn't cure you. If you want to thank him, thank him. 
Why are you here again? Hello, princess. I saved your life, but don't thank me too much. I did what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> It's you again. You made me angry this morning. I'm not done with you yet. In the morning, forget about the morning. Now I'm your savior. You know, it's true that Chen Ping saved you. You should thank him. Thank you. Don't be so polite, princess. Your Majesty, you haven't punished Chen Ping for disturbing the emperor. I almost forgot about it. Someone come here. I'm here. What Chen Ping just told you. Have you done that? Your Majesty is ready. It's right outside the palace. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go and have a look. You're dead. Your Majesty, this horse, it's an old horse just returned from the battlefield. We followed Lord Chen's instructions. Iron palms have been nailed to this horse. Very well, everything is ready. Please test the horse yourself, Your Majesty. Chen Ping, how can you let His Majesty test the horse himself? This horse has been through a lot. Its hooves are worn out. It's hard to walk. He'll fall down after a few steps. You let His Majesty test the horse. It's an assassination attempt. You bastard! How can you let the Emperor test a horse? Your Majesty, the horse is normal. If you didn't try it yourself, how do you know what I say is true? Nonsense. Your Majesty is the Emperor, a man of magnificence and dignity. The horse must be the best one. This mere horse, how can it be worthy of His Majesty? Your Majesty, this one wants to kill you. He can't be trusted. Your Majesty, I'm willing to test the horse for you. No, I'll do it myself. Your Majesty, please think twice. What are you afraid of? I've been in the battlefield for a long time. I've ridden all kinds of horses. This old horse is not too old to be blinded. It's still strong. Get out of the way. Your Majesty, please think twice. This horse is really as fast as the wind, compared with an ordinary horse. It's so fast. How did you do it, Chen? Your Majesty, please listen to me. Tell me all about it. It all depends on this little piece of iron palm. It's called horseshoe. It allows the horse to stand better on the ground and avoid the ground. Between walking and running from wearing the horse down and protects the hooves for a long time. Let me have a look. I didn't realize such a small piece of iron is so useful. As long as this is nailed on the horse's hooves, it'll be able to fight again. You'll be able to leap over mountains and rivers in no time. Great! This is God's way of helping me. I was worried about this. I didn't expect you, Chen, appeared suddenly. You've solved this problem for me. It's a great achievement. It seems the Emperor's son-in-law is really the right choice. Minister Chen, you are responsible for this thing. Notify the Ministry of War immediately. Order all war horses in the country are to be affixed with this horseshoe. Yes, Your Majesty. Chen Ping, you saved the princess for inventing the horseshoe. I'm going to reward you. I can get money. And I'm going to give you an official title. Go home and wait for the royal decree. Why not give me the money? Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank him. Thank you, Your Majesty. Why did he give me an official title? Why did he give me an official position? You just can't make up your mind. It's good to be an official. Some people can't get it even if they want to. You should be happy with what you've got. I don't want it either. I've worked all my life. Can I just enjoy myself? Cut the crap! Yonok will be here soon. Cheer up! Cheer up! Cheer up. I promise I won't cry, okay? The Imperial Decree is here. Cheng Ping receives the decree. I accept the decree. Kneel down! I accept the decree. Cheng Ping is very knowledgeable. He is courageous and resourceful. He has saved the princess by offering good advice. I am very pleased. I hereby appoint you as the Minister of Manufacturing. Tomorrow, you will take up your post at the Manufacturing Department. No mistakes will be made. 
Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I accept the decree. Thank you. Is this a good day? <laughs> Silly son. Do you know what this means? What does it mean? I'm the Minister of Industry. I'm in charge of manufacturing for the whole country. And you, the Ministry of Manufacturing. You're in charge of inventions. You're directly connected to the Emperor. If you do a good job, you and your father will join forces. We'll monopolize the country's manufacturing industry. When that happens... We'll be rich. We're not corrupt officials. We'll be honoring our ancestors. Oh yes, I have to remind you. Your top boss, it's the guy named Li Zhuo from yesterday. You have to be careful. What? Stop. You are not allowed to enter the government premises. I'm the minister here. I'm here to report. Your Excellency. Do you have a token? Everyone here must have a token. I don't have one. Why are you messing around without a token? Go out of here. Come on, come on. Look at this. How dare you stop me? <sighs> I didn't realize it was so formal here. Not a good day. Hey everyone, keep working hard. If we don't finish today, no one can leave. Sir, Chen Ping is here. Do you want me to take you to the back room for tea? Bring me here if you want tea. Yes, sir. We meet again, sir. Playing in the water? Can't you see everyone's busy? We're remodeling the grounds. The water has to be released. Okay, you guys go ahead. I'm a little hungry, so I'm going to eat first. Stand over there! If we don't finish this job today, no one can leave. Hey, I thought it was a big deal. Such a trifle. I can do it all by myself. Are you sure? Of course you can. I don't need to see anyone else for this job. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody stop for a sec. Mr. Chen just said he'll do your work by himself. But let's get one thing straight. If he doesn't finish the job, none of us could eat. Ah, he's all alone. How long will he have to work? We'll starve to death. That's right. Mr. Chen, please. Get me some thick bamboo pipes. Thick bamboo pipes and some adhesive. Make sure it's waterproof. Bamboo tubes. What's wrong with that? You're going to drink all this water? With your wisdom, Mrs. It's hard to explain. Just wait and see. Bold Chen Ping? He was sent by the Emperor. Your lord, don't get upset. Don't be angry. Go get him. Yes, sir. Let's see what he can do some dirty tricks. All right, all right, all right. Now follow the wave, connect the tubes, make sure it's tight. Now take the other end of this bamboo into the water, plug the other end. If this can pump out all the water, I'll drink it all. Just wait and see. Go on, block the other one with your hand. Let go now. Let go! Sir, the water is really coming out. What's going on? How could this happen? You believe now, don't you, Sir Lee? What do you think? Why? Lord Lee, let me tell you. It's called siphoning. It's caused by the gravitational force between liquid molecules and potential energy. That is, use the pressure difference of the water column to push the water up and then flow slower. No, it's not. What did you say? What did you say? You're speaking Chinese. Why don't I understand a word? Do you understand? What is this? I don't know. If you don't understand, learn. There's no end to learning. Drink slowly, Mr. Lee. I'm going to eat first. Let's eat! I'm so angry. This Chen Ping, he made me lose face on my first day. Father, what made you so angry? It's because of that Chen Ping. I want to teach him a lesson. He taught me a lesson. What did he say? There's no end to learning. That's ridiculous. <laughs> What's wrong with that? 
You want to get him in trouble? It's not easy. About the farm equipment renovation, the Emperor has been after us many times. Why don't we leave it to him? Good idea. If he can't make it, I'll go to the Emperor to induct him. Bug him off. That's right. He'll be out of here. Sir Lee? We haven't eaten yet. You can't just drink water. You're just in time, Chen Ping. I have an errand for you. What is it? Easy. Refurbish the farming tools. Increase the efficiency per acre. Just double it. Refurbishing farming tools. Mr. Chen, although it's not easy to rebuild farming tools, but let me tell you, Emperor is very concerned about this matter. If you get it done, it would be a good job. If you don't, I'm afraid that our manufacturing division... I'm afraid we can't accommodate a big Buddha like you. Who are you? I'm the deputy director of the manufacturing division. I'm also Lord Lee's son. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. I'll take the job. Yes, sir. Mr. Chen, since you've taken the job, can we agree on a deadline? How long do you think? Forget it for today. Tomorrow night. Give it to me by then. What do you say? No problem. Okay, then. Then it's a deal. Your Highness, send Lord Chen Ping to the palace. The princess is looking for me. Is it because I saved her life? She wants to reward me? Princess looking for you now. Go, remember our appointment tomorrow. Dad, he's really walking into a trap. <laughs> as long as he can build it, I'll take his name. That's impossible. It's so hard for us to make it. It's been so long. He can't make it in a day. Absolutely not. So, if he can't make it, I'll take him to the Emperor. He'll have to go away. Dad, you're so smart. The princess wants to see me. I'm sure she wants to thank me for saving her life. In retrospect, she's hot. I'm so lucky. Wait, there's no one here. Princess! Princess! You slut! How dare you giving to philandering of me? What are you doing? How dare you ask? How did you cure me? The normal procedure? You are lying. You gave me pancreatic water and you kissed my... My... Ah. Oh. You said this thing. You had food poisoning. If I hadn't given you the allergy medicine, you'd pass away. What allergy medicine? Loratidin. You don't have it here. I bought it myself. Then why did you use your mouth? Sister, your mouth was tightly clenched. If I hadn't fed you medicine like that, you would have been dead. If you say so, I have to thank you. Uh-huh. It's revenge. I shouldn't have saved you if I'd known. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Mr. Zhang is here to see you. <gasps> Brother Zhang is here? How wonderful! Brother Zhang? I still have a rival? It's done. Brother Zhang is here. Go, 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 go! Look at you. What Brother Zhang? I want to see him too. You do. My brother Zhang is a famous scholar. When you see him, don't be ashamed of yourself. Genius. Then I must meet him. Greetings, Princess. Brother Zhang. Why do you have time to see me today? I came to see you. Come on, Brother Zhang. Have a seat. Bring tea to Brother Jen. I've been here for so long without a word of hospitality. She makes tea as soon as he arrives. That's disgusting. What are you mumbling about? You're Zhang Shen, right? What are you doing? So it's Mr. Chen. I'm surprised you didn't go to the gambling den today. I don't have a job or an official position. I'm just a hobo. 
So you're a hobo? My brother Jung is a famous scholar. He's learned a lot. The whole capital envies his talent. If he wanted to be an official, he would have done it long ago. It's not worth mentioning. Your Highness, I've come here today. I want to give you a gift. <laughs> what is it? Open it. I know the princess likes music, so I searched for a tree. A thousand-year-old tree. I made a violin for you. A thousand-year-old tree? It's rare, isn't it? Thank you, Brother Jack. What's wrong, Mr. Chen? You're here today. You're not here to see the princess, are you? Why did you lose all your money again? It's a shame. It's a shame. It's him, as long as he's not mad at me. A gift? I can't even think about it. This is a thousand-year-old zither. It doesn't look like a thousand years old. You said my Guchin is not one thousand years old. You are slandering. I just said it. Why are you being so angry? Am I right? No. I was just angry for the moment. What makes you think that Brother Jang's Guchin is not one thousand years old? Do you have any evidence? Without a diamond knife, I won't take this porcelain job. What evidence do you have? Every tree has annual rings. A circle indicates a year. Look at this Guchin. There are dozens of circles on top at most, but not a thousand circles at all. It's just fake. Annual rings? It's the first time I've heard of it. Trees have no annual rings. You must have made it up. I haven't heard of it either. That's because you don't hear what's going on outside. There are many things you don't know. This is just your one-sided statement with no evidence. In that case, let's go outside. Just look for a tree randomly and have a look. All right. What's up? Mr. Zhang is scared? What's there to be afraid of? Okay, what if it's confirmed? If you are right, I'll call you teacher. Come with me. You haven't said it yet. What should you do if you are not right? Nothing like this will happen. Yeah. You. Old craftsman. Princess, your royal highness, ma'am. Hello, gentlemen. This is the old craftsman in our palace. He knows every plant and tree very well in the garden. Just give your order. Okay, sir. I would like to know how old is this tree. 112 years old. Then please, do me a favor to count its circles. Okay. The theory of annual rings is simply nonsense. I've read several ancient books before, but couldn't find any relevant arguments. Your books are out of date. Bullshit! These books are all written by senior experts, and you actually think they are useless? Yeah, you don't even know a few words, yet you dare to question the book? My lords, I've counted them all. How many? 112 circles, exactly the same as the tree age. How is this possible? Are you sure you counted correctly? You count again. It's impossible. My lord, I'm the national counting champion. That's definitely right. There's such competition like this. It's really abominable. Fuck! Brother Zhang, you actually talk building skates? Brother Zhang, should you call me something? Master. Yes, my good apprentice. How can this happen? There's really such a thing as annual rings. I've told you before, but you don't believe it. Of course it's true, but it's hard to explain that someone gives a gift. That person must have deceived me and used fake goods to make up for the real. I'm also a victim. How dare you still be tough? No money is no money. What are you pretending to be rich? You... <laughs> Princess. Did you see it? Don't talk with this kind of green tea man from now on. Seeing is believing. I didn't expect you to be quite capable. I underestimated you before. There are so many things you didn't expect. This is for you. What's this? This is called a Rubik's Cube. It's a gadget that can rotate. <laughs> Thank you. On your first day at the manufacturing division, some errands must be arranged for you. That's normal. What kind of work? Transform farm tools. As long as you can do this job well, the, the Emperor will definitely be happy. What's your deadline? Three months or half a year? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Why are you so surprised? Son, you don't understand. This matter is very important and extremely difficult. This would make you die. Old man, what are you anxious about? Don't worry, I have a solution. Have a solution? Then, how is the horseshoe thing? A piece of cake. Old man, everything has been sent to the front line. You are quite efficient. Of course. Is this true? 
Pretty much. It haven't been verified yet, but it's pretty close. Go investigate quickly. Report as soon as there is any news. Dad? What's up? Minor matter. What time is it now? In half an hour it will be dark. Cheng Ping is not here yet. Could it be that he gave up because of the difficulty? That's inevitable. The innovation of farm tools has frustrated many skilled craftsmen. Cheng Ping can finish it in one day. That is absolutely impossible. Who said I can do it? Where are the farm tools? Didn't you make a small shovel and hidden it on your body? But that doesn't count. What we require is to at least double the efficiency of plowing per move. How is this possible? Hmm. Carry it in. What is this? A plow. Why is it different from a straight plow? This is called a crankshaft plow, which changes the straight shaft to a crane shaft and installs a rotatable plow disc on the plow head. In this way, the entire plow frame will become smaller and lighter, which is very convenient for turning around and swerving. It's very flexible. So how to improve the efficiency? Let me ask you, nowadays, why is the speed of plowing the land slow? A straight plow requires multiple people and two cows for plowing. Only requires half the labor and livestock. How is this possible? I do not believe it. I don't believe it either. If you don't believe it, won't you ask others to try it? Fine, you guys go and try it. I don't believe it anyway. My lord, this thing is amazing. It only takes half the labor. What? <laughs> Mr. Lee, do you believe it now? Huh. For more than a year, we haven't solved the problem. He made it in one night? I always feel that Cheng Ping has been acting weirdly recently. Could it be that he has some expert guidance behind his back? Chen Situ, that old fox. What do both of you say that right to my face? Mr. Lee, is it okay now? Your invention. I will report it to His Majesty tomorrow. Just wait and receive your reward. There's no need for reward, as long as Mr. Lee doesn't distress me. How come? We are both from the same department, and we serve the Imperial Court together. You have been tired. Today, go home and take a rest. I'll go back first then. Do you really want to report this to the Emperor? Is it okay if I don't report it? Everyone knows this. If I don't say it, I will give occasion for scandal. My lord, we have investigated everything clearly. Say it. What I said before is correct. There was something wrong with the batch of goods indeed, which led to another defeat. Is it true? Yes. God helps me. Hurry up, follow me into the palace. Now the Chen family is going to be doomed. I thought my son was ignorant and incompetent, but I didn't expect you to hide your edge. Who dares to look down on my son now? Not a big deal, old man. I'm just curious about why Li Zhuo has to be at odds with you. Oh, he resents me for taking his position as the Minister of Works. Back then, your grandfather was a veteran who helped the late Emperor conquer the world. He, so he gave this position to me and married his favorite princess to you. I am actually the second generation of rich people. Cheers! Who are you? Why did you break into my house without permission? Do you know who I am? Of course I know. You are the Minister of Works. Mr. Chen? Li Zhuo, bringing someone into my house. What do you mean? Of course something happened. The idea of horseshoes is from Chen Ping, right? Yes. So what? Then no problem. Arrest him. Wait. You haven't explained why. The war horse were still badly worn. Even after using horseshoes, our army suffered another defeat. What? This is impossible. Why? Let me tell you why. After the emperor heard the news, he was furious. So he has ordered Chen Ping to be imprisoned. Waiting for judgment. Take him into custody. What? What? I want to meet the Emperor. Yes, you can. But you will have to wait till tomorrow's leave. The Emperor will inquire in person. But Chen Ping must be taken away today. You stay there first. Tomorrow morning, Danny will go to meet His Majesty. Take him away. Master, do you really have to go? My son is in jail. I have to go. But, don't say but. Just because I have dedicated my whole life 
Emperor and devoted myself to the Emperor these years. He will listen to my words. Master, I don't listen. I don't listen. Your Majesty, please listen to me. The father and son teamed up to tease the emperor, which led to our army's defeat. Yes, that day Chen Ping vowed solemnly I thought he had some good plans. It's just a scam. What? A scam? What are you talking about? So, you and your son, one was responsible for making suggestions, the other was responsible for supervising construction, just took advantage of the position to line your own pocket. Tell me, how much money was embezzled from making the horseshoes? Your Majesty, please judge clearly. I will never ever engage in corrupt practices, and the horseshoes I made were absolutely qualified. Qualified? If they are qualified, why did the army suffer defeat after using them? Enough! The war is a national matter, and it is related to the life and death of the country. How can you be so careless? Your father and son gave me a bad idea and caused my army to suffer a defeat. Say, what's your punishment? Your Majesty, according to what Chen Ping said that day, these two should be executed on the spot. Put Chen Situ into prison too and punish them together. Your Majesty! I did expect Chen Ping to have some tricks. It's quite funny. Your Royal Highness! Ma'am! Bad news! Chen Ping was caught! What did you say? Really? He's already in jail now. No way. I have to see him. Bro, can you help me convey this? I'd like to see your supervisor. You're dreaming. Just stay inside. Hey, if my father were here, he would kill you all. Don't bark. I'm also here. Old man? Why are you here too? You... Didn't you promise to save me? I save you if I'm dragged into this issue. It's over. Let me ask you. What's wrong with the horseshoe thing? I have no idea either. I obviously used the best brass to cast them. How could something go wrong? Why don't you use iron? How difficult it is to make iron. We can't do it. The princess is coming. Why did the princess come? Why are you here? You can go now. I heard that you've been caught. Princess, you still care about me? It's only because you saved my life before. I'm here to see you for the last time and then I'll leave. Having a wife like this, I don't want anything else. Mr. Chen, is there no other way? Princess, I have an idea. If you bring the Emperor here, there should be a chance. I'll find my father and definitely let him see you. Wait, your Royal Highness. What are you doing again? What's up, Mr. Chen? You must give it to the Emperor. This is... Father, I have something to say. Why do you put the Chen's father and son in prison? Daughter, this is government's affair. The harem cannot interfere with But him. he saved my life. You can't kill him. You don't like him, do you? I can kill him and find you another one. No. He can die anyway. Your Royal Highness, the Emperor has made a decision on this matter. They won't die. They will only be exiled. So, what's the difference between this and killing him? Daughter, stop fooling around. Go back. Since you can't forgive them, it's okay to see them, right? I won't meet them. They let me down so much. Your Royal Highness, the Emperor is the body of all saints. How could he go to that place in the dungeon? Wait, how about this one? This, this, this. Dinner is ready. Eat quickly. Li Zhuo, how dare you come here? How dare I not to come? I'm very happy to see you like this. Why do you have to put a son and father to death? Asking me why. I was the number one scholar back then, just because I was born in a poor family. Without your good dad, I can only be in the manufacturing division. That assistant minister should be mine. Do you know why you can't be the minister of works? Why? Because you're greedy. You don't deserve it. People like you can't even think about it in the rest of life. I am planning to light here with a torch. Send you both away. Let me see what chance you still have. Lijuo? You dare to murder us? Aren't you afraid that the Emperor will blame you? Afraid? I'm so scared. <laughs> Go to hell. The Emperor is coming. Chen Situ, I'm listening.
You told the princess to give it to me. Yes, your majesty. This gold medal was bestowed by the former emperor to my family. The former emperor said the medal was a symbol of him. Today, I will use it to save ourselves. I also miss the former emperor. I remember your great achievements in the wars. Your death can be avoided, but your position must be removed. Off you go. Thanks, your majesty. Your majesty, they cannot be released. My son. Let's go home. Wait. You can go home, but your stun must stay here. I will punish him. Your Majesty, the horseshoes are absolutely out of question. The problem lies in the way of manufacturing. How dare you say that, Chen Ping? Are you questioning our Majesty? I don't mean that. I just want to say that the horseshoes are out of question. But in the process of refining, there was something wrong. We should not use copper, but iron. Iron? Do you know the difficulty in making iron? Your Majesty, I want to prove myself. Well, I will give you another chance. If you fail, I will kill all of you. Old man, we can be saved. The manufacturing of iron before is difficult and complicated. It is because the refining of iron needs extremely high pressure. Now we just need to add something during the refining, so we can make the temperature needed lower. What is that? This is carbon. Attention, please. Oh. It, it, it really can. Your Majesty, by using it, we can not only quicken the speed of refining, but also strengthen its hardness. Well done. The speed can really be quickened, but there is one more procedure. We must add carbon. We need more labor. Your Majesty, I have thought about what Mr. Josh said. Adding carbon really increased workload. Wait, he admits it personally? So, I suggest that we can change the single job into line production. What line? What is line production? Make it clear. In short, it is the first worker finished the first step, the second worker finished the second, and so on. But if the workers increase, can the speed be quickened? It absolutely works. Sure nonsense. Unintelligible, your majesty. If you don't believe it, why don't you try it? Will somebody do us what Chen Ping said? Yes. Why does this sound a little crazy? Don't worry, land production was well invented by the Americans. Every factory is using it. Absolutely no problem. Your Majesty, what Lord Chen said is true. The speed has increased several times. What? Really? You, you are so capable. I was wrong about you two. I announced that you and your father are freed without charge. Thanks, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I have one more thing. Just say, I want to make a complaint against Li Zhuo, head of the manufacturing division. He wanted to burn my father and I. Majesty, I am wronged. Chen Ping, he brings a wrong accuse. I beg your trust. I don't think Lord Li will do such thing. Do you have any evidence? No. No. He is wrong, your majesty. I accuse Chen Ping of framing me up. What do you take my place for, Yemen? We'd better give it further thought. Leave it aside. My son, leave it aside. My princess, please stop. You blow up my eyes. What do you think? There is no news yet. What's wrong with you? I find your care about Chen Ping is increasing. Nonsense! He saved me before. That's all. Really? Yes! No more questions. Well, since you are so concerned about that, I will provide something more about your future husband. Are you okay? Sure, a piece of cake. You are posting. Do not forget your hopelessness in the jail. Thanks for your help. Just after I finished, I came to show my thanks. Oh, you still have conscience. My conscience and talent are among the top. Still boasting. You really have a little talent, but not so much. 
You should question me. Well, you say, I will solve whatever problems you have. There will be a talent contest after two days. If you win, I will recognize your talent. Talent contest? I'm not interested. Mr. Jung will come. I will come too. It's him again. He is really lingers. A man who sent the fake. How dare call himself talent. If you win, I will help you achieve your will. Everything? No daydreaming. As long as it's a reasonable one, don't try to cash in on me. And will you go to the contest? Sure. It's a deal. Master, what are you doing? Exercising? Will you go to the manufacturing division today? Absolutely no. They're looking forward to my death. I will not go. And young master, do you have any plan today? I'm going to... Will you go to the gambling house? I will go to the brothel. Ah. You're here. Brothel is brothel. Their business is booming. Yes, young master. The night's just falling. There have been so many people. They must earn a lot. Mr. Chen. Is she calling me? I'm coming. What will we do next, young master? How about asking someone? We're already here. We must open a private box. I will ask a girl. That's my first time to be here. Everything is exciting. Let's go. Yo. Is he... Lord Chen, what a coincidence. What are you doing here? Unlucky. Lord, you must be joking. Today, I'm coming for the queen of the brothel. What queen? Bai Li Ji. She is always busking, not selling. And I tell ya, her charm and art are the highest. Her tweedle is superb. It's said that one who can win the first prize can get the chance to spend a good time with her. Ah, that's my fault. I forget that the core of the contest is talent. I forget you can't even read. You think that I'm not as good as you. According to Talon, I will surpass you greatly. Okay, let's wait and see. She's so charming. Luckily, we come today. Dear Childies, tonight I prepare a test for you. Only the one who passed the test can get the chance to stay with me one tonight. But only one person. I. Arr, look at him, so disgusting. I prepare a kind of liquor. It comes from the West. Please taste it. If anyone can recognize the way of making and the materials, he will win. Please taste it. Okay, I must win. Give me a cup. Why is it red? Miss Biley, is it a liquor? Sure. Please have a taste. Ah, it's terrible. What is it? Mmm, wine glowing in the luminous jade cups. What a good wine this is. It is a famous western wine. It is made of grapes and different from the usual liquor. The original material is very important. Needs tasting with patience. Shit! Chenping, do you know the wine or not? It is bitter and astringent. You see it was made of grapes. Why does it do not have the sweet of grapes? It tastes like vinegar. The wine focuses on quality, so we need to taste it patiently. It's not right to drink it like that. Ah, you are so, so smart. Can you tell me how to drink the bitter? Mr. Chen, Miss Bailey invites you to go upstairs. Me? Just drink the wine and have a rest. Ah, this is not good. I have a fiancé. The 
It's not unusual for a man to have several concubines. Child, don't worry. Young master, your father asked you to go back. Ah. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Old man. How dare you go to the brothel? I just go to have a look. Besides, Lijuo's son is also there. What is he? Can he compete with you? You are the emperor's future son-in-law. If someone knows that you went to the brothel, they will accuse of you. So what? But I just go there to drink, that's all. You have been to the girl's room. The servant says that, or else you arrived in time, that girl would make you lose your virginity. In a word, you are not allowed to go there in the future. I know. What are you going to do tomorrow? I will go to the talent contest. <coughs> I'm sure I heard you right. What's wrong? Are you going to the talent contest? Why are you asking that? A father knows his son better. Someone like you who does not have talent and virtue. But you have more virtue now. A big progress. But as for talent, if you go there, you will only make others laugh at yourself. Too much joy begets too much sorrow, old man. Brother Zhang, hi. It's Brother Zhou. You also come for this contest. Just for joy. You surpass me a lot. No, no, it's just a name. Your talent really, really makes us admire. Don't make fun of me. Do you know who else will come today? There are many people, but many will come for fun. Right. <laughs> Chen Ping. Unlucky to meet you again. I don't expect you to be here. Nice to meet you. A one who sends the fake can come. Why can't I? You got it wrong. You must be kidding. You're Chen Ping, the blacksmith. Who are you? I'm the son of Zhou Hui, minister of the Ministry of Revenue, Zhou Ning. Oh, I don't know. You? The princess has arrived. Princess. Xinyun, what are you doing here? The princess must come here for the talent. After all, her future husband is a crap. You have got a cheek. You are so strong. What did I do to him? I don't know. Princess, don't be angry. You have been angry since morning. I'm so angry. How dare Chen Ping go to the brothel? That's just a rumor. A rumor? Chen Ping stayed at the brothel. He drew all attention from others. The queen showed her a favor. But after that, Minister Chen got him back. That's okay. But I'm just angry. This contest, I will never support him. Well, we have to prepare. The contest will begin. We can't delay because of him. After all, he, the crab, will be eliminated at the first turn. Brother Zhang? Can you think what a princess will do? Must her all kinds of abuse. <laughs> <laughs> Every talent. Every talent, man your posts. The contest will begin. We have two rounds in this competition. The first is to make a pair. The second is to recite a poem. Between these two rounds, the one who is not eliminated is the winner. Poetry is Zhang Shen's specialty. I'll give you a couplet. The one who can match the next couplet will be the winner. Mr. Zhang, the first line is Li hits the carp, Li sinks to the bottom, Li sinks and the carp floats. The wind blows and the bee flies. The wind blows and the bee fly. Amazing! Amazing! Mr. Zhou, lotus plant, lotus flower, monk pinch, the strings of the zither. I'll play it for you. It's Mr. Zhang who has to say it out loud. Mr. Zhang is a famous scholar. Some people can match him. Hello, Mr. Chen. Is Mr. Chen ready? I'm going to write the first line. Please come up with a couplet. Okay, listen up. When there's music, you're on stage. Whether it's spring, 
fall, winter or summer. Wow, that hits hard. There's spring, summer, fall and winter in the couplet. Chen Ping definitely can answer. If you can't answer, Mr. Chen, I'll consider you a forfeit. Give it up. You won't be able to answer. Who says I can't answer? All winds are in the seats. North, south, east, west. Great. That's excellent. That's right. That's right. It's a perfect match. Mr. Chen has been promoted. Damn it. Damn it. Don't worry, Mr. Chang. Poetry in the second round is your specialty. So, after this competition, there are only three gentlemen left. Zhou Ning, Zhang Shen, and Chen Ping. Who will be the final winner? Princess, who do you favor most? Of course. Mr. Zhang, of course. Why do I see your eyes always on Mr. Chen? No, I don't. Now, for the second competition, the competition is to write a poem. It's about beauty, within the time limit. Whoever does it well will be the winner. Now you three, please. Time's up. I finished. I said it first. Let me go first. Shame on you. I was the first to speak. Moderator, who should go first? Mr. Chen first. Let Mr. Chen go first. Damn it! The clouds want to dress up and the flowers want to look beautiful. The dew is thick in the spring breeze. If I hadn't seen you on the Jade Mountain, I'd go to the Yao Tai under the moon. It's impossible. You couldn't have made this poem. I didn't make it, or did you? Have you in somewhere else heard this poem? Just because we haven't heard doesn't mean you made it. Do it again if you can. Alright. Keep your ears open and listen. There's no such a thing as a beautiful woman. A beautiful woman makes me feel pleasant. She's a beauty to behold, amazing to the world. Mr. Zhang, it's your turn. Why don't you dare to read? You! You call yourself a genius? You don't even have the guts to read your own poem. What a shame. I'll fight you if you insult me. Oh, so you cheated. No, listen to me. Mr. Zhang, what's your explanation? Mr. Zhao, let's see how your poem goes. Look, it's blank. The host can announce the result. I announce in this talent contest, the final winner is Chen Ping. Zhang Shen will be disqualified forever. I... Thank you. Congratulations. This Chen Ping did a good job. Yes, Mr. Chen is great. Princess, how did I offend you? Why do you always get angry when you see me? You still have the nerve to say? Where were you last night? So that's what you're talking about. I swear I didn't do anything. That's not good enough either. Don't be like that. Don't be angry. I'll give you something. What? Look at this. What is it? It's called perfume. It's made from flower petals. It smells really good. Just rub it on your body. It gives you a floral scent and it lasts long. Mm. It smells good. Then later I don't have to carry a sandbag with me. That's right. You're not angry now, are you? Your one wish is cancelled out. Let's just leave it for now. Take a look. Be nice. Take a look. The baby is starving and has a fever. It's strange. Why are there so many refugees in the capital? I don't know. There are too many of them. Doesn't the government care? No way. Let's go buy them some food. We can't let them starve to death. Sir, give me 25 kilograms of rice. I'm sorry. I won't sell it. Why don't you sell? I'll pay for it. You can buy one kilogram. 
you can't buy 25 kilogram. Why? Rules are rules. Look at this street. It's full of refugees. That's why we have to control costs. Overselling is not allowed. How much for one kilogram? One kilogram. It costs 50 yuan for half a kilogram. 100 yuan for one kilogram. 100 yuan? I used to be able to buy two and a half kilo for 100 yuan. Do you think that's expensive? Me too. But now it's the price. The price will go up in a few days. You are looting a burning house? So what? If you don't buy, just go away. How dare you? You just said that the prices are standardized here. Yes. I don't care how much is it. I must buy 25 kg. No way. Sell or not? Do you dare to rob me? Do you know who I am? If you don't sell, I will rob you. I don't care who you are. I am the princess. Dare you say no to me? I'm the emperor. You piss me off. Give it to me. Robbery. Give it to me. Take your hands off her. It is true. She's the princess. Nonsense. I don't believe that. Wait for it. I'm going to talk to my dad now. He will kill you and all your family. Well, well. Let her go. Keep bragging. Come on. Take it. Princess, give me rice. How dare you spill my rice? That's all because you don't sell it to me, so I ruined it. Let's go talk to the magistrate. Can't agree more. Go. What happened? Magistrate, please help me. These two bad persons just robbed my rice. What? I'm not bad. You too robbed my rice. You did it. You robbed my rice. Stop. Look at me. Are you the presenter? Jinping? Princess! Princess. I can't believe I meet you here. What a coincidence. Being a presenter is just one of my hobbies to meet celebrities. Why not? Nice choice. Stop talking shit. Focus on the matter before us. What? He said I rubbed his rice. No, no, no. How dare you? Tell me the truth. I will tell you. We were walking on the street. We saw a lot of refugees almost dying, so I wanted to help them, and I want to buy some rice for them, but he just refused me. How dare you? Sorry, I couldn't do it. The Chamber of Commerce gave orders to me. One person, one kilo of rice only. I can't do more, or they will close my shop. Who owns the Chamber of Commerce? Tell me. Say it! It's, it's the Zhou family. Zhou family? What kind of commerce? Magistrate, tell me what you know. Tell me, or I will punish you now. Oh, okay, I'll sell all. <laughs> hey, Under the daylight? How dare someone to assassinate? That's it. Hey, Magistrate, don't be afraid. Say it! Don't run away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Hey. It's another loss. I'm pissed off that magistrate he knew something, but he didn't tell us. We have no idea. This must be the son of a noble family. He dares not to say. I don't care. I can't stand it. I have to tell my father. I'll reflect too. The people are suffering from drought. It's hard enough, but there's someone who's deliberately trying to inflate prices. Recently, there have been many droughts. Many victims have entered the capital. Ministers, do you have any solutions? The scorch of the people has become a plague. From my perspective, it can be dealt with the intervention of the Ministry of War. No, they are my people. They must be disposed of properly. Your Majesty, we can allocate funds from the Ministry of Revenue, open storehouses and provide conky. But per day, there is a limit on the amount. That's a good idea. Ministers, do you have any other suggestions? Your Majesty, I have something else to tell you. Someone in the city is deliberately inflating the price of food. It's causing people to suffer, Your Majesty. <laughs> What nonsense are you talking about? What nonsense are you talking about? Mr. Zhou, I didn't say anything about you. Why are you in such a hurry? I'm just angry. Why would anyone jack up the price of food? That means the emperor hasn't been governing well. 
I saw it with my own eyes yesterday. Even the princess can testify for me. Chen Ping, is that true? It's not a lie. If that's the case, I order you to investigate this matter and ensure the truth emerges. Yes, your majesty. I think... I'd like you to give me 10 more things to do. What are they? I'd like to solve the problem of food for the people in the city. It's a matter for the Ministry of Revenue. How can you get involved? I suspect someone in the city is taking advantage of the situation. And that's the reason why I want to deal with it myself. Are you talking about me? Mr. Joe, I didn't say that. Okay. Mr. Joe, don't be so hasty. Chen Ping didn't say anything by name. Besides, you're busy at the Ministry of Revenue. Leave the grain collection stuff to him. Thank you, Your Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty. You, Chen Ping, how dare you go against me? Why are you so angry? Do you know how our family's granary has been controlling the capital's grain? I had hoped to take advantage of the disaster and in the flux of the refuge to make good profit. I didn't expect him to mess it all up. Chen Ping, it's he again. Yes, originally the Emperor had no idea but about the grain price. He told all of it. If I hadn't sent someone to threaten the Magistrate, he would have told out earlier. We have to get rid of him. But what does Father want to do? I have given order to all the merchants. No one is allowed to sell grain, especially Chen Peng. Not a single kilo. Are you stupid? Why do you take any job you dare to do it? There is someone in the city to fill his pocket with public funds. Many refugees have starved to death. I don't like it. Young master, I'm going. You see? What did I say? What do you know, old man? It's just as I expected. Come on, hurry up. Be quick. Don't be stupid, don't be stupid. Yo, what are you doing here too? What do you think? Young master, I can't sell you even one kilo this time. Why? I know. It must be someone who told you to do it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I have my family. I can't afford to offend them now. I can understand. How much do you think you can sell it for currently? I'm selling them to the refugees for 60 cents. It's gone up again? I can't help it. Okay, I'll pay 100 cents. Really? I said I would pay 100 cents. Deal? Deal. 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 Hey, buddy. Hey, give him the rice. Father, it's not good. Don't panic. Speak slowly. Father, Chen Ping has bought grain. What? Who's so bold? Chen Ping paid 100 cents for it. He's crazy. It's true. Many rice store owners nowadays would rather offend us to sell grain to Chen Ping. Where did he get so much money? Could it be the princess? Is she backing him up? It's possible. With his family's wealth, it's not enough to support a city full of refugees. Then what should we do? Should we sell him grain at our high price too? No. We'll do the same. We'll buy it at his price. What? Then we'll lose a lot of money, won't we? It's okay. We'll lose some money at most. But if Chen Ping fails to collect the grain, he'll get his head chopped off. Go. We'll also buy grain at the price of 100 cents a caddy. We must not let Chen Ping receive the grain. Okay. Young master. Young master. How's the grain going? As you expected, those grain merchants won't sell us grain anymore. The Zhou family bought it all. A good fish has taken the bait. But what should we do now? The grain we bought is not enough to cover our expenses. Follow me to the grain store. Yes, sir. Boss? Boss? Isn't this Mr. Chen? Why do you have time to come here? You're really here. The boss of the Zhou family chamber of commerce. It's you, isn't it? No, no, no. I'm here to help. Not the boss. Not the boss. Well? Boss? Hey, Mr. Chen. You're here. Boss? I'm here to buy grain. Give me another 500 caddies. I'm sorry. Today's grain has been taken over by Mr. Zhou. 
you'd better go to another store. Mr. Joe, 100 cents a caddy. You are so rich. What's the matter? We're rich. You don't like it? You and your father are the same. To go gets my father at every turn. That's what happened. Are you going to stand by and watch the victims starve to death on the streets? Did you have any compassion? Those people are as cheap as grass. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm laughing at you for not realizing you're about to get over. What do you mean? In less than three days, I will make you cry. I heard we're running out of food. We can't get any more food. I'm not worried. It's all coming down to the wire. Isn't it better this way? You can go to your brother Jack. Now is no time! Why are you still talking about him? I don't like it. Okay, I have a plan. The Grinch should be here today, right? It's true. Young master, it's just as you expected. The grain merchants have all arrived. Very well, let's pay the price I told you. 20 cents a caddy? So cheap! That's my plan, isn't it? So you're not afraid the Joe family will buy it again? Afraid? It's difficult for them to buy. You bought it at such a low price. You're not afraid they will ship them back again? <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm laughing at your cuteness. Besides, the weather is not a good time to store food. If we haven't shipped it back yet, the grain will probably rot. So that's how it is. Good! This time, Joe's father and son are finally in danger. What? Hundreds of grain merchants have come to the capital. Now the price of grain has dropped to 20 cents a caddy. It's all over now. Father, what about our tens of thousands of pounds of grain? Will they rot in our hands? Yo, Chen Ping, it's all his plan. I'm so angry. This Chen Ping, I won't let him go. Well, the refugees in the city, they've all been properly relocated. Good, that makes me happy. Father, this time, Chen Ping has done a great job. That's right. Chen Ping. What kind of reward do you want? To share the Emperor's worries for the good of the people in the city. It is my honor. I'm not looking for any reward. You are the right person. Oh, I heard you haven't been to the manufacturing division for a long time. It's really unsuitable for me. Can I not go? If you don't want to go, that's fine. Don't go to the manufacturing division. Then I will give you another title. Your Majesty, I don't want to be an official. I want to open a restaurant. Yes, I want to be a businessman. Scholarship, agriculture, industry, and commerce. Business is at the bottom of the list. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Yes, it is. The path of business is a bit shameful. Think it over. There's no need to think about it, Your Majesty. I think no job is noble or humble. You don't know how to cook, how to open a restaurant. It doesn't matter if I can't cook. I can run a business, that's all. I think... It's not right. Since Chen Ping has an idea, let him give it a try. Chen Ping, what kind of restaurant do you want to open? My restaurant is going to be open to all the people in the city. The people? That won't make any money. As long as you run it well, you'll still make money. So go ahead. I want to set a buffet. What is a buffet? The way it works is, when dinners are having meals, they are free to choose their food. Share a table eat together and leave afterward. It's very convenient. That's a good idea. Our back camp can also have a try. Sounds like really, really novel. I still think it's unreliable. Don't worry. Mr. Zhang, I heard your business has gone down recently. It's all because of that Chen Ping. He ruined my reputation and my family's business have been implicated. Do you want revenge? Of course I do. I wish I could eat his flesh and skin him. That's God. There's your chance. Do you know that Chen Ping is going to open a restaurant? He's going to open a restaurant? Isn't he the head of the manufacturing division? That's why he is stupid. He doesn't want to be a politician. He wants to be a businessman. That's exactly what you want. That's good. If that's the case, and don't blame me on the day he opens his restaurant, I'll give him a big present. The opening of the new restaurant. Every honored guest enjoyed 20% discount when you enter.
We have a special buffet. Welcome to our restaurant to taste. Don't go away. Don't go away. Come in and take a look. What's going on here, young master? I thought we said we'd have a house full of people. Why is there no one here? I don't know. Go check it out. Yes, sir. Don't look. They're not coming. Mr. Zhang, what brings you here? I'm coming to congratulate your new business, Mr. Chen. I don't think you are coming with good intent. How come? I even bring you a gift. What is it? For the opening of your restaurant, I will celebrate with you. 50% off in all of my restaurant and a bottle of nice wine. That's why no customer is here. We got it. Many restaurants are holding events. People are eating there. See, Chen Ping, I told you. Your business is over. That's all you can do? Bye, Li Zhi. Bye, Li Zhi singing. Attention, please. Every customer who comes to this restaurant can watch the show of the first singer, Bai Li Zhi, without any extra fee. Only pay once can get unlimited food supply. Eat as much as you can. You think you can save your business by this? Naive. Let's go! Go inside! Come on! Hurry! Welcome! What's going on? People are going to your restaurant! Mr. Zhang, you underestimate the charm of Bai Li Zhi. Impossible! Our cuisine and quality are the best! You can't compare at all! You not only underestimate the charm of Bai Li Shi, also overestimate consumption ability of the civilians. Your restaurant is too fancy. Mine is different. Low price, nice show. How could they not come? Bye bye. Miss Bai's music is really beautiful. I was enchanted. Look at you. Trick me to work here for you. That's not true. You know you wanted to. By the way, how is my perfume? It is so wonderful and special. After I'm using it, everyone is obsessed with me and curious about how to get one. Good for you. If you keep playing music here for me, you can get as much as perfume. I promise. Sounds great. Really? Congratulations, Mr. Zhang. I heard that wealthy businessmen and dignitaries are having meals in your restaurant. A Chen Ping wins the civilians. They love him. So, it's just a bunch of untouchables. But too many of them, as thus, his returns are certainly higher and higher. I didn't expect that. This Chen Ping always gets the better move. Don't worry, I got this. Really? Yes. Do you know Li Shengdao? He just got promoted to be the Officer of Salt and Iron. Officer of Salt and Iron? It won't work. Chen Ping won't use illegal salt. We can't get him down. No. I mean, we wait. What? Who's in charge of legal salt? The Qualified Chamber of Commerce, of course. And who is the exact leader? My family. Then who qualified your family? Ministry of Revenue. I see. You mean I cut off the salt source of Chen Ping first, force him to break the law, then make Li Sheng Dao go after him. That's it. What happened? The food tastes funny. Today's food is weird. Point two. This is terrible. Let's get out of here. Awful. Let's go. Sir, please, don't leave. Please come back. This is all terrible. Don't go! What's going on? Where are they going? I have no idea. They said the food is awful, so they leave. Oh, what is this? Disgusting. What kind of salt is in the food? Um, let me check. Your yeah, master, it is the salt. And the cook went to buy salt today, but no salt shop would like to offer salt to us. Like they have a deal. The cooks got no choice to cook. They have to use crude salt. I see. Someone was behind it. 
How would we cook without refined salt? What if we find a new way to get refined salt? How's the food? Tastes good? Mm. It tastes so good. Even better than before. The salt is fine now, young master. I know. This process is so complicated. Nobody can make it on the earth except me. Young master, you are the best. Go. Open the gate. Get the business started. Yes, sir. Mr. Chen, nice to see you again. It's you. What are you doing here? I am the officer of salt and iron now. Specialized in investigation of marketing salt and tea. So, I got a tip. Some say you use illegal salt here. Bullshit. We use illegal salt here. Really? Go search. Yes, sir. Sir, look. Soldier, get Shen Ping. What do you want? To put me in jail? Shen Ping, I got you and the salt now. Don't you dare argue. Tell me, where did you get the illegal salt? I bought it. Bought? No shop will offer you salt. How can you buy and find salt? This is the illegal salt. I didn't buy any illegal salt. I grind the crude salt into fine salt. You are joking. Even the professionals. It costs a long time even for the professionals. You? You can't do it because you're not smart enough. No way. I don't buy that. Unless you show me now. No problem. Tools? How about that? Got more questions? Let's wait and see, Chen Ping. Withdraw! Chen Ping! Hi, Shen Yun. I'll kill you! <laughs> what did I do? Don't ask me. Chen Ping! You, you cheated on me! I want to kill you! Princess, why would you say that? Tell me, do you hang out with that girl again? Who? By Lijie. Ah, her. Ah, uh, we're just business partner. Business partner? Not lover? I swear, I just invited her to sing in the restaurant to attract customers. No, something is wrong. What now? The perfume you gave me, do you give her too? You said that it's just for me. No, you give it to others. Oh, Shin Yun, I can't explain. It's just... No, you liar. I'm breaking off your engagement. Shin Yun! Leave me alone! Move! Go away! I will teach you the lesson today! How dare you upset the princess! Old man, why hit me again? I am your father! Fine. If you won't stop, then I will punch you! Don't you dare! Scared now? You know, fight can help. Now the princess is annulling her marriage! What should we do? Don't waste time to worry about this. I can fix this by myself. I will win her heart back. Then hurry up to fix this. Now! Are you okay, princess? Don't let it bother you. He must fall in love with others. I'm going to dissolve the marriage tomorrow. Baby, Lord Chen is busy on something else. We should wait. It has been a whole day. I don't care. I am going to see father tomorrow. I won't forgive him. Please, princess. Forgive Lord Chen. He cares about you so much. Huh? Hmm. That's weird. Why do you keep defending him? All the time. 
Did you get something from him? No, I did not, princess. Don't judge her. I let her say it so. <laughs> Why are you here? I don't want to see you. Really? Then who just complained about not seeing someone today? Who says that? No, not me. Please don't get mad. It is your fault. Do you know that now? I really shouldn't give her the perfume, but she only got the primitive version. The one I gave you was very well improved. Is that true? Of course. No, not enough. What? Sit down. Come on. Wow. So beautiful. This is called firework. I made it for you. Do you like it? Yes. What is going on outside? Having war? Who knows? I asked someone to check. Sir, it's Chen Ping setting off fireworks to cheer Princess up. Chen Ping. Him again. He is getting famous in our city. His father always embarrasses me in court. Father, we must do something or we're going down sooner. Fireworks. Don't you think it sounds dangerous? <laughs> Young master, what about the rest of the materials? Pack it up and put it in storage. Remember, always stay away from open flames. Don't worry, sir. It's all in my hands. What is that smell? What's going on outside? Master, there's a fire in the warehouse outside. Oh no, let me see. Young master, young master, young master, something bad happened. What? There's a fire in the mansion. Master got burned. Go! So, what did the doctor say? The doctor said the master was only slightly burned, but he inhaled a lot of smoke. I'm afraid he's going to have to rest for a while. Did you find the cause of the fire? No. Come on, let's go check it out. Oh. Young master, it's all burnt black. I can't see anything. No, there must be something more. You see, that's the darkest part where the fire started. Oh yes, what was it in here before? There. I remember putting out pyrotechnic materials. Are the fireworks lit? That does make it easier to start a fire. Have you stayed away from open flames? Of course, young master. I did exactly what you told Put me to. Put it as far away as possible. I'm afraid of any sparks on it. That's weird. Is it really just a coincidence? What's wrong, young master? It's like... It's a substance produced by burning white phosphorus. What do you mean? I know. Yesterday, there was a fire at the Minister Chen's house. Minister Chen has no regard for his own safety. He was caught in the fire to save the court supplies. It's not a big loss though, but he's bedridden with injuries. It's a great spirit. It's really touching. Your Majesty, that's not the rumor I heard. Well, then tell me about it. I have heard that since Chen Ping placed a large amount of gunpowder in the warehouse, that's what caused the fire. So it's Chen Ping's fault. Your Majesty, what Mr. Zhou said is very true. That's what I heard. Is that true? Your Majesty, it's because of my pyrotechnic material caused the fire to get bigger. Chen Ping has already confessed. Your Majesty, take him out and chop him up. Your Majesty. My fireworks were meant to make the princess happy. I didn't expect it would be the cause of my father's injury. Didn't expect? 
One sentence of not expecting it will cover the loss of the court supplies. How naive. Your Majesty, my fireworks is not at all the real cause of the fire. Instead, someone set the fire on purpose. What? That's bullshit. It's clearly Chen Ping's fault. He's trying to avoid responsibility, Your Majesty. Mr. Li, I didn't say you set the fire. What's your rush? I'm in a rush. Am I in a rush? Sir, you are in a rush. What's the big deal? The safety of the court is more important than anything else. It's the right thing to do. I think you feel guilty as a thief. You're spitting blood. Enough. Since there's doubt about this matter. Chen Ping, I leave this matter in your hands. Yes, your majesty. Young master, what are you doing? I'm working on an invention. What's it about? It's for self-defense. It can take one for the team. That's awesome. Of course. Oh, right. How's that thing I asked you to look into? Right, the substance you asked me to look into, I found out only the manufacturing division has. And last night, someone saw Li Shengdao left his house. It's really him. Where is he? He's hunting outside the city now. It's a good shot, sir. Who is it? Chen Ping, why are you here? I'm here for you. Find me? What's the matter? Where were you last night? I was at the house yesterday. Liar! You weren't even there. You went to my house. Bullshit! You're trying to say I started the fire in your house, and you won't admit it. Do you have any proof? Of course I have proof. Without evidence, I'd come to you. Do you remember what you used to start the fire? It's white phosphorus. What's with the white phosphorus? Is there a problem? White phosphorus is flammable, but in the process of combustion, it produces substances, thus leaving evidence. So what? Does this prove anything? It's possible for others to do the same. But this white phosphorus, only the manufacturing division has in the entire capital. No more to say? <laughs> the fire. I started it. So what? What can you do to me? <laughs> Deliberate arson. Conspire against an imperial official. Destruction of important physical evidence. All of these are capital offenses. Only based on your word. Who's gonna believe you? Do you think I don't have proof? It's fine. You don't have the chance. Go! So, you want to kill me? As long as you're dead, buried in the middle of nowhere, no one will suspect me. You think I'm unprepared? So what if you're prepared? Even if you bring in a lot of people, I can easily kill you. Don't need that much. I, by myself, can kill you all. <laughs> you? <laughs> You're kidding me. Everybody knows you don't have any power. You're so funny. Look at this. Oops. <laughs> You're trying to scare me with a stupid stick. Oh, I'm so afraid. Try it and you'll see. Start! What the hell is going on here? This... What's this? Ah, don't worry. It's called a gun. You haven't seen it, have you? Demons! All of them demons! No one can protect you now. Go! Where are we going? Go back to the capital and see the Emperor. You Li Sheng Dao! How dare you set a fire on purpose! Your Majesty, it was my son's momentary confusion. Please, Your Majesty! Take it easy. Your Majesty, this man set the fire on purpose. Conspire against an Imperial officer. Destruction of vital materials. Please, Your Majesty, punish severely. You must be severely punished. Get him into prison. Kill him after autumn. Your Majesty, it's actually me. Your Majesty, it's a one-man job. I did all these things. I'm at your disposal. You bullshit. Come on. Take him down and kill him after autumn. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, for my sake, after all these years, Your Majesty, Father, Father, Your Majesty. 
I leave. Chen Peng. You see now? The family's forces are intertwined. Just now, I knew there was something wrong with Li Zhuang. But I can't convict him. But how did I hear that Mr. Li comes from a poor background? But his father-in-law is the current abbot. I... I have to give him face. I see. Nowadays, the majority of the court are celebrities, but they're all trash. There's no one as talented as you. My honor, your majesty. So, I want to change this situation. Let more people from poor beginnings, they can all serve the court. What can I do, your majesty? From the literature, change the celebrities, multiply the talents. Well, your majesty, you want more people to study, right? Yes, that's what I mean. What can I do for you? Chen Ping, come and see. Paper is a luxury now. Every piece of paper is very expensive. Your Majesty wants me to improve paper making? Yes, that's what I mean. Improvements can be made, but... What? To, it's just that to improve paper making, I have to go to the paper factory. That's Mr. Zhou's place. There's too much at stake here. It's not very convenient. What's so hard about that? I have a token here. Guarantee you a smooth and unobstructed passage. Come. Me? Yes, come. Thank you, Your Majesty. Stop. No one is allowed inside the paper factory. What are you doing here? I'm gonna go inside. Who do you think you are? This is an important place. Without the Empire's permission, trespassers die. Then look. What's this? What happened? You look like you've had a bad meal. Who made the paper machine? We've got all the latest equipment. Just bought it. What's wrong? Tear it all down and replace it. Tear it all down? You know how much these machines cost? This equipment is so outdated. You say the machine was outdated. These machines in the whole country are the best ones. It's not enough right now. I've been watching your production up to a few hundred sheets of paper a day. When is this going to happen? The whole country can afford to buy books. The whole country's people? Studying is for the children of our families. How can these pariahs be worthy of it? Today I am here just to settle this. From now on, paper factories stop production. Replace all the machines. On what grounds? Here's the Emperor's Royal Warrant. Yo! You can't do this! These are all new machines! We can't get a new one anymore! We're craftsmen! That's the best they can do! For your consideration, I've got the drawings ready. You've come prepared. Of course, just do what you're told. That won't work either. We don't have enough raw materials. The materials we use to make paper, it's all coming in from the east, are not able to keep up with. You don't have to worry. I found out that there's a bamboo forest outside the city. There's enough bamboo to go around. Bamboo forests can make paper too? There's a lot you don't know. Wait. I want to see the machine built in seven days. In a month, I want to see 100,000 sheets of paper. Do you hear me? <laughs> These? You did all these? Of course. Oops. These papers are smooth and creamy. It's thinner than the previous paper. That's great! The most important thing is that paper production is now more efficient. Hundreds of thousands are made a day. If we expand the future, millions of them in one day are not a problem. Chen Ping, you're a fucking genius! Great. I'm sure within a few years, it'll break the monopolization of the core by the families. Well, Chen Ping, I'm going to reward you. I decide the wedding of you and the princess will take place immediately. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Do you know, Mr. Li? The Emperor is now going to clean up the families. The first step is to improve the books. In the future, the books for ordinary people are the same as ours. 
How are things going with your son? My son is going to be killed. I wrote so many letters. The Emperor, he turned a blind eye. My poor son. It's all Chen Ping's fault. All these things, he made them up. And now you're going to marry the princess? He's so hateful. Damn people. I'll make them pay for what they've done. Mr. Lee, he is right. What do you want to do? I will support you fully. Now everyone in the court, they all look up to the Chen family. It's time for a trip up north. I'm going to prepare for their wedding ceremony a big gift. The north? You mean... Yes. I hope Chen Ping's store will prosper. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, father. I'd like to wish the princess and the prince consort a happy wedding. Chen Ping, why does your wine taste different compared to the normal one? It's a little more flavorful. I made this myself. I'm curious. You're nothing like you used to be. Didn't I tell you? I'm coming from the future. You don't believe me? That's bullshit again. You don't believe me, right? Well, this is the proof. What's this? It's called antibiotics. At first, it's what you ate to survive. Really? I never know such thing before. This is our Times product. It's definitely not here, and because of it, it saved a lot of people's lives. Why don't you do more? In this case, everyone has won, we're all going to live. I'd like to, but with today's technology, I can't make it. It's fine. Here are two more. Xin Yun, here's for you. You take one at a critical moment. It can save your life. Oh. Uh. Your Highness? Mr. Chen? What's wrong? The Emperor summoned Chen Ping. He said he had something important to discuss. Repulsive. Why are you so angry, Your Majesty? Do you know where's Li Zhuo? He's gone north. Do you know where the north is? Barbarian tribe. He's gone over to the enemy. How dare Li Zhuo betray his country and join the enemy and took the manufacturing division. A lot of precise drawings and advanced equipment even took my map of the army's defense. Now the enemy know all about our army. It's all clear. How gracious. If we catch this guy, we must kill him with a thousand cuts. Your Majesty. It's important to make a decision sooner rather than later. Beware of enemy forces. Forward information. The enemy's army less than 50 miles from our border. Your Majesty, let me go. I have a good idea. What are you doing here? Isn't he going to marry the princess? Our country is in trouble. I can't just stand by. I have a way to get rid of the enemy. Do you have a solution? Yes, Your Majesty. Give me a month. I can make the world's most powerful army. Good. As long as you have a way to retreat, you will be the greatest servant of the dynasty. I don't want it! I don't agree! Xinyu, what are you doing here? It's so hard for us to be together. I must not go to war. Yun Er, it's a matter of negotiation. Go back. Go back. I don't. If I leave, Chen Ping will live. Your Majesty, I'll take care of this. Let me talk to the princess. Okay, okay. Do you remember this place? My first time. The place that takes you to see the fireworks. I remember. The fireworks were so beautiful that night. But once this war is on, the people will be displaced. The most beautiful fireworks. I'm not even in the mood for it. I know what I'm talking about. It's just that you're the one who has to go to this battle. I can't help it. The things I made, only my men and my command in order to be effective. No, it's too dangerous. The Berbers are tough. How can you, a civil servant with no power, how can you beat them? Don't worry. I have a plan. 
Have you forgotten how I captured Li Shengdao? It was rumored. If you were alone against several guards, you brought him back by yourself. Yes, I did. Not several, but a dozen. Huh? Are you kidding me? You can't take on a dozen of them on your own. Even the great masters can do that. It's all about the equipment. As long as the soldiers use my equipment, they'll be able to take on ten of them. So powerful! Of course! I know. You're really from the future. You believe that now, huh? Mm. What you've done beyond what I can understand in my time. I can't understand. That's why I can do it, but you can't. So, you're good where you come from? Of course. I'm a physics and chemistry major, double doctorate, in terms of wisdom and intelligence. There's no one better than me. So, how did you get here? It's all because of a nuclear test. It was all set up. I don't know what happened. I blacked out. The next thing I knew, I was here. <laughs> it sounds like a failure, and you're still bragging about it. I'll take it as a failure. But, you can't fail this time. Because I'm waiting for you. Don't worry. Wait for me. I'll give you a big wedding. Young master, I have found people you wanted. These are the best blacksmiths in the city. And they are all from the Zhang Clan Business Association. So Zhang Shen is here too. Listen to me, everyone. Why did you call us out for so late at night? We still need to get back and forge weapons. That's right. Big battle is imminent. If you don't prepare more weapons soon, it will be all too late. Listen to me carefully. I can understand how you all feel. I called everyone here this time for the matter of weapons. Chen Ping, what kind of tricks are you playing again? To tell you the truth, none of the weapons we made before have been effective. Chen Ping, what nonsense are you talking? Every weapon we made was according to the standards. Then why do we keep hearing news of defeat from the front lines? That's because the barbarians are fierce and their armor is sturdy, difficult to pierce. That's the problem right there. What we need to do is improve the weapons. What do you want to make? Guns. Guns. That's right. Within a month, I want you to make a thousand guns. Just this. It's just a fire stick. Take a good look. <laughs> now, does anyone still have objections? Your Majesty, I believe that it is inappropriate to let Chen Ping lead the troops. Minister Zhou, why do you say this? Chen Ping is still young and lacks experience in leading troops. If we let him command the entire army, it is feared that he may not return. Mr. Zhou, your words sound like a curse upon my son. Do you think he is capable of leading the three armies? Your Majesty, I have confidence in him. But Minister Zhou's point is valid. Well, I trust you greatly. You do lack experience. This battle is very important. I suggest let an experienced general lead the troops, while Chen Ping assists from the side. Your Majesty, the equipment I have invented requires tactical cooperation. If someone else were to lead, it is feared that it may not be effective. <laughs> Isn't it just explosive? Anyone can use them. This is obviously envious of my son's talent. Jealous? Are you kidding? I only care about our civilians. Alright, stop arguing. I decided it. General Hu will be the commander of three armies. Chen Ping, you will assist him. Chen Ping, take another thousand troops and take full responsibility. Your Majesty, this is absolutely not a vice. My decision is fine. No need to say more. Tomorrow, after paying respects to the heavens and ancestors, the troops will march immediately. Yes, Your Majesty. Rest assured, I will return. I will wait for you. Then I shall leave. No, wait! Here's for you. I don't need it. I take it. I trust you. Farewell. Be careful! I'll wait for your return! Princess, something's wrong! What happened? Is it Chen Ping? 
No, it's his restaurant. The staff are all leaving. Huh? Let's go and see. Hold on, all of you. What are you doing? Why is no one working? The boss is gone. What are we staying here for? But he will come back. The boss went out to fight. Who knows when he will return after this battle? How long will we have to wait? You are all his employees. If you all leave, won't the shop collapse? Yes, you all know how popular the shop used to be. Just wait, Chun Ping will come back. The popularity was in the past. Without the boss, it's not fun for us to stay here. Let's go. Chun Ping is not here, but isn't there still me? Princess, what are you going to do? This shop is Chen Ping's hard work. I can just watch it collapse. I will keep it for him. But princess, you don't know anything. You have difficulty waking up early, let alone running a shop. For Chen Ping, I can't do anything. Isn't it just running a shop? From today onwards, I am your new boss. Wages and benefits will remain the same. The princess can be trusted. Why not stay? I am the current princess. Do you think I would deceive you? Okay, princess. We are willing to follow you. Brother, check the ropes in the carriage. Where are we? Young master, take a look. We have entered enemy's territory. Young master, what do you suggest? The master wants us to scout ahead, but I'm not sure for what purpose. I don't know either. Just be cautious. No, we can't get any further. Why do I feel like we're going in circles? Yes. You're right. It's cloudy. And there's no sun, making it difficult to determine directions. Going further would be too risky. What should we do, young master? I have a solution. Young master, what are you doing? Quiet. Don't talk. Checking the direction. That way's north. Let's move in that direction. Young master, how do you know that? There's a compass, of course. Young master is always resourceful. Let's go. Who goes there? <laughs> Chen Ping. We meet again. Visual. Your Majesty, our army has been blocked in a bloody battle with the enemy for several months, but the situation remains a stalemate. However, our supplies are running dangerously low. If we continue to hold on, it may not be favorable for us. This is a critical moment, and we must not let our food supplies be cut off. I am willing to personally lead a team to transport to the provisions. Of course, and we shall rely on the Su and Chen families. Speaking of which, how is Chen Ping doing? There's no news for now. He might be hiding on the battlefield. Mr. Zhou, my son has been fighting bravely on the battlefield. Please do not speak ill of him. No, your majesty. A battle report has arrived from the front. Tell me, General Huo's troops have been defeated by the enemy, and our forces are in retreat. As for Chen Ping? He is trapped in the enemy lines, and we have no information on his whereabouts. Serve some wine, boy. Yes, coming right up. What's the matter with you? Why the long face? Look at how well our business is doing. Princess, the prince has received news. <gasps> what news? Has he won the battle? No, he hasn't. Why did you come here? Of course, I have brought you news. What news? About Chen Ping? You are clever, princess. It is indeed about Chen Ping. <gasps> Tell me, princess, don't listen. Tell me quickly. Chen Ping has betrayed the country. You're talking nonsense. That's impossible. It's absolutely true. Chen Ping led his troops deep into enemy territory and hasn't come the out. The enemy hasn't reported killing our leader. Are you saying if this isn't betrayal? 
Then what is it? This doesn't prove that Chen Ping has betrayed our country. Maybe they are just engaged in battle. Princess, you are so naive. Chen Ping has a thousand men with him. How can they stand against a hundred thousand Without army? Without evidence? If you dare to talk nonsense again, I will have my father kill you. Naive or so naive. The Emperor now has his hands full. General Hu suffered a defeat in the front and soon the enemy army will be at our border. When will the enemy army arrive? I wonder how long can you stay safe. I'm just a merchant. It doesn't matter to me who rules. I just want to honestly buy and do my business. Whoever rules is fine. <laughs> Stop shameless! When the enemy arrives, let's see how you can keep your composure. Your Majesty, please don't be disheartened. There will be a turning point. What other turning point is there? This is the military report just received from the North. The enemy army of 100,000 has been entirely defeated in less than half a month. Your Majesty, I have something to say, but I'm not sure if it's appropriate. Speak! Although we suffered a defeat, we didn't lose many cities. We should consider ceding some of them, perhaps to make the enemy retreat. You want us to cede territory and surrender? I'm willing to go for negotiations. Your Majesty! Absolutely not! If we don't seed cities, do you have any better ideas? Should we all hide like Chen Ping? Mr. Zhou, my son Chen Ping is not someone who fears death and only seeks to survive. Alright, enough. Stop arguing. Agree to Minister Zhou's proposal. We are willing to seed territory. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Report! Your Majesty, Chen Ping has returned! I pay respects to the Emperor. Chen Ping, why have you returned? I won a battle, so of course I had to come back. You win? Bring the captive back with you. Visual? Your Majesty, this person ambushed me on the way and was captured by me. He is now a prisoner of war. Why did you betray the country and collaborate with the enemy? Fuck you! I begged you to spare my son's life, but you turned a blind eye. You talk about benevolence, righteousness, and morality, but you are extremely uncritical. A person like you is only fit to be a ruler of a ruined society. You are insolent! Do you want to die? What's there to fear about death? Do you want to die? I will wipe out your entire family. Quick! Bring him away! Brothers, my success today is your success tomorrow. Jack him! Your Majesty, there's no need to be angry with him. Tracers like him are not worthy. Don't worry, Your Majesty. There's more. Bring him in. What's this? Who is this? This is the enemy's monarch, the barbarian king. This is the Barbarian King? Yes, I personally caught him. You only have 1,000 soldiers, but the other side has 100,000 soldiers. How did you manage to do it? Your Majesty, this is thanks to the fire department. I have prepared enough ammunition and will directly kill him seven times in and out. People block, Buddha block, no one can stop it. We have beaten him down directly. Oh my god, is this really him? I've never seen him before. Really? Then his seal. It really belongs to the Barbarian King. Without a doubt. You, honestly confess, how did you find out about our strategic development? Of course, someone betrayed us. Every half month, there will be intelligence reports. Who? It's him. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, this may be Chen Ping sent to frame me. You, a Confucian scholar, dare to do but not admit it. I still have his handwritten letters here. Come. Take Zhou Hui to the death row and wait for further orders. Yo, Majesty, I'm innocent. Oh, by the way, there's also someone surnamed Zhang who is responsible for providing us with supplies. It must be Zhang family's business. Catch, 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 catch! All caught by the Alliance. Jumping, you've made a great contributions. I will definitely reward you well. Your Majesty, 
I only want to do one thing. Are we still open today? It's time to open. I'm not in the mood today. We're closed for the day. Yes. Are you still open today? We're not open today. Come back tomorrow. I want to eat today, and you have to accompany me. You're so daring! <gasps> Chill, Pig! Xinyun, I'm back. Sorry for the long wait. You finally come back! They all said you were missing! No, I annihilated the enemy. We won. Really? I just came back from the Emperor's Palace. I came back to see you. Thank you for taking care of our store. If you weren't for me, your restaurant would have been gone long ago. Thank you for your quick thinking. Our wedding. Let's have it here, okay? Who said I'm going to marry you? That's not possible. Since the first time I saw you, I've been prepared to be your husband. Okay, then I'll consider it. No need to consider. <laughs>